guys so I get asked this question all the time about afro hair by ladies that tell um, afro hair is so hard and it's my hair is so tough and that's the reason I've put this video together to show you guys the important oils that are filled with lots of benefit that can help soften our hair and promoting um, manageability so I will be starting with some beautiful essential oils and some vegetable oils that has very very good benefits and nutrients and I'm also using some herbs as well some herbal oil and all these things by the time we put them together and use them, them on our hair on a daily basis we would definitely see an improvement so I would be starting with an applicator bottle this is very important because applicator bottle is able to concentrate on a particular area and you want to make sure you go for the one that has the measurement around them so I would be opening that up <laughs> and then starting with my coconut oil coconut oil has so many great benefits it penetrates the follicles easily giving it the right nutrients it needs and I like going for about 30 ml of coconut oil I go for my extra virgin olive oil I love extra virgin olive oil so much it has so many great benefit and it also has some natural healing properties that also promote softness giving us the easy manageability that we need to combat dryness and one thing I also love about oil is that it is able to stop or prevent dandruff and it also adds shines to the air and it also gives strength you know that you need to, in order to rejuvenate your hair and your scalp so I also like going for about 30 ml of olive oil for my sweet almond oil almond oil battles air loss and it's very very rich in some very very important essential minerals that are very great for air growth it's rich in magnesium calcium and zinc and it also battles dryness and split ends which is something that is very very common you know among afro hair ladies and it also promotes shine <music> So when I am going for my almond oil, I like going for about 25 to 20 to 30 ml of pure almond oil. Next, I go for my amla oil. Amla oil is able to treat dryness. Amla oil also combats itchy scalp. And one thing that I also love about amla oil is that because it's got this um, amla fruit, which is the Indian gooseberries fruit, this is rich in vitamin C and it also promotes antioxidants. <music> So I go for 20 ml of my amla oil. And then I go for one of my favorite oil which is castor oil. Castor oil carries resinolic acid and omega-6 and these are very very important fatty acid which fastens blood circulation to the scalp and in return promoting air growth and it's also rich in vitamin E and it also has antibacterial properties. So I go for 15 to 20 ml of castor oil. And next 
I go for another important oil that is very very rich in so many nutrients I go for my hemp oil and I also try to make sure I search for the organic oils because most organic oils still have you know a lot of benefits and they still have their mother property in them and one of the reasons I love um, going for my hemp seed oil is the fact that it prevents breakage and it also prevents air loss and it's also rich in omega-3 and 9 and another thing about hemp oil is that it is very very high in protein so for my hemp oil I go for about two tablespoons I go for my enna oil enna oil is very very common you know they use enna oil for like natural temporary tattoos or for natural hair dyes but one of the great benefits that enna oil has is that it's it is a remedy for hair growth it prevents dandruff and itchy scalp and it also conditions the hair because enna oil can be quite overpowering I only go for about two teaspoons of enna oil and next I go for vitamin E oil vitamin E oil is able to improve blood circulation and it also battles air loss it promotes air growth and shine it nourishes the scalp and prevents gray hair at the end of the day all these nutrients and properties are very very important you know for our hair on a daily basis and these properties that i've been mentioning you know about all the oils that i'm using are very important but by the time we use these oils on our hair on a daily basis or on a regular basis it would help soften our hair giving it the right nutrients it needs in order to battle dryness and hair breakage and toughness and everything so for my vitamin E oil I also go for about two tablespoons with my essential oils apart from the fact that essential oils are very very great you know with their aroma they've, they, they've got very beautiful smell they are also filled with lots of benefits and nutrients so start I would be going for my grapefruit oil it's also a fragrant oil that offers wide range of benefits it has antiseptic qualities and also can serve as a disinfectant and it is also an hair tonic because it also treats dandruff and promotes hair growth so for my grapefruit oil I go for about 20 drops next I go for sweet orange oil sweet orange oil serves as an antiseptic and it also increases absorption of vitamin C and blood flow and collagen production and it is also able to rejuvenate the hair and the scalp for my sweet orange oil I go for 15 to 20 drops for my rosemary oil rosemary oil simulates air growth and it also prevents baldness so if you're going through air loss at the same time going through air dryness or hair toughness you can use rosemary oil because it prevents baldness and it is also able to treat dandruff and it also battles scalp dryness and it also promotes air growth <music> So for my rosemary oil, I go for about 30 drops. And next I go for my tea tree oil. Tea tree oil promotes air growth and it also battles dandruff and it also eliminates lies and stops dryness.
So for my tea tree oil, I go for about 15 drops. at my oil now and I feel like okay I've got room for another oil <laughs> so I decided to go for castor oil I decided to go for castor oil because of the great benefits and fatty acid properties that castor oil has and you know at the end of the day castor oil is also able to you know promote blood circulation to the scalp which is very very important so I decided to go for castor oil so I would say I went for about five to ten mil of extra castor oil and another oil that is very very important is peppermint oil peppermint oil is an essential oil that is able to promote blood flow and it also lessens scalp and hair dryness without even visibility and it also eliminates dryness and dandruff <music> So for my peppermint oil, I would say I usually like going for about 10 to 15 drops of peppermint oil. Squeeze it in. <laughs> so I'm done. And now you just want to secure your lid. Look at that beautiful oil mixture. When you applicate a bottle with the tip of your finger, you just want to give the mixture a very very good shake just to mix it together properly. You're done basically. So this is the oil that I use on my hair on a regular basis and I can tell you guys that I have seen a great improvement in my hair texture. It feels really really soft every day you know after you can use this oil after applying your leave-in conditioner you can use it for your auto oil treatment that i will be making another video on very very soon i mean you can also use this oil on your skin because it has got all the great benefits you know that your skin needs you know on a daily basis This oil will help you manage the hair dryness and toughness and frizziness that we face on a daily basis with afro hair. So that's everything. Thank you very much guys for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for my previous video. I love you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye guys.